Hey everybody, it's Amy with Maestro and Mighty, and today I'm gonna try out Rise's new custom blocks. Um, and what I wanted to try was to find a layout that I liked. So this is just something I found online, and I'm gonna see if I can kind of recreate it using the custom block. So first thing I did was just pop in a custom block, and I, whoops, I resized my canvas to be about 1440 wide because if this is sitting in a rise course I just want it to be nice and wide um, but you know the height might change as we start to play around with it so first things first let's try and match this tennis okay so you can rotate it um, let's try like 180 maybe Ooh, all right, tennis. The next thing I'm gonna do is make this little um, this little line here, but as I was kind of fiddling around with it, there is not like just a line shape in here. So I'm gonna show you what I think I'm gonna try to do at least. So rectangle, getting it as skinny as I can get it. And let's turn that black. Oops, and then I'm gonna duplicate this and turn that white to cheat a little bit. Overlap it to make the line that I want and then we'll move those in place. Okay, next thing, let's start adding in those images which I happen to find on here. Tennis court. Um, so the first one is this chair in the court pick. And okay, if I can get it somewhat similar, you know, something like that. And then I'm gonna add in another image if I can. This one I found, but it was down a little bit further. Here we go, insert. <laughs> okay, let's kind of place that here. So if you hold shift, you can kind of crop it, it looks like. Now, the problem I'm having is this is super wide. Let me actually shrink this. And then I'm gonna go a little bit wider with this one. If that makes sense. So then this will crop off. So if I preview it, holy smokes, okay. If I preview this, you're kind of seeing what I'm up to. Okay, um, let's go back and Oh boy, okay, we gotta do this little like line hack again. And let's shrink these down big time. I don't know if this is gonna work, so stay with me. Now I just, I'm holding, I'm on a Mac and I'm holding Option to duplicate it. And then let's do one more here accidentally grabbed the text with it and then I'm gonna shrink it what oh okay bring this to the front because of my hack it's like the overlaps of things are getting a little wild what why did it group it y'all Again, we're just trying some things here. Oh my gosh, why can't that budge? Okay, and then. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, geez, that took a while. I will speed that part up. Um, now we need these little arrows. Now I'm assuming that this is like from a website and these are buttons. So I did notice that with the custom blocks, there's no interactivity currently. So this is following more of the layout at this point. Um, so let me go back up to shapes, arrow, dial it down because that's chunky. It's not the arrow that I really want and that's the smallest I can get it but I think that'll do just to try and like recreate the idea of it. And maybe there's an arrow font or like an arrow glyph I can put in. Either way, let's just keep rolling. Um, paragraph, I don't know, I'm just gonna, I can't even read what that says, so I'm just gonna write tennis. <laughs> And I'm just going to write, I can't even read that, court, tennis court. And then if I duplicate this, we have a big paragraph of text, which let me grab some lorem ipsum. All right, grab that. Wowza. to left align this, oh, this paragraph, um, adjust that line height, and then this looks like it's the paragraph heading, so heading of this, or I'll just type it, a new way to reach ooh, luxury buyer and let's huge let's do 35 left align it really bring up down that line height I feel like this paragraph is maybe too long as well as let's whoa bring that down a little bit okay there not not too bad right <laughs> okay let's go ahead and see see it here. Now, as far as my settings go, I'm going to remove the, the padding on this just to see if I can, when I view it, it's kind of like full width. Hmm, I wonder how you get it to go full width other than doing one of these, but let's preview it. Okay, okay. So, Again, this is the OG, this is the remake inside of Rise's new custom blocks. You know, I think if I would have taken a little bit more time with like the weird line hack thing that I did, um, cause it's super wonky through here, maybe made my own arrows. I think that's pretty cool that you can somewhat get inspired um, by a layout that you find and try it inside of Rise. Now, the only, hard part that I see with what a layout like this would look like is if I were to view this on mobile it's gonna scale everything down rather than um, rather than have it responsive and maybe have text flow uh, because that is like the most impossible thing to read you know it looks great on desktop so maybe if you knew that that was for sure what your audience was gonna be viewing it in I think something like that would work but you know, with the chance of it being viewed on mobile, it gets super itty bitty tiny. So that is something that, um, you know, I'm wondering if, if that type of uh, functionality will happen in the future or not. And, you know, like would things stack and can you kind of control that at different breakpoints? Um, that could be interesting. I also 
notice that if I were to put in another custom block here, you know, it does say interactivity coming soon. I kind of mentioned that before, but like right now, something like this throws me off where if I had this in here and maybe it goes with this text or some text below it, I'm as a learner, like wanting to click into these and have it like jump me to wherever I want it. So very interested to see the interactions that are coming. Um, but overall, like it was really fun and easy to build in. Uh, it felt like storyline in a sense where you can kind of place items and same thing like where, you know, storyline isn't responsive. So when you do shrink down your window, um, things just shrink, uh, you know, sizes of text just shrink. So pretty cool though. And I like that this but this preview just keeps confusing me. Um, I want to do this preview. I do like that like everything, although it feels like an image, everything is still, you know, in there. It's not baked into one flat image. So awesome. Well, that was fun. Let me know what you all are doing inside of inside of Rise's new custom blocks. I would love to see some of the cool layouts and ideas that you all are coming up with. So um, hope you enjoyed this and I'm excited to keep playing around with this and see how much fun we can have with it. So very, very cool.